This year we've learned a lot of different strategies for addition. We've learned open number lines where we make jumps to find our sum. We've done break apart where we broke apart the place values into expanded form and added those sums together. And we've also done base 10 blocks where we've added using base 10 models to help us figure out our sum. Now we're working with a stacking algorithm. Like we've learned before, an algorithm is just a step-by-step -step method to find a solution to a problem. We call this the stacking algorithm because we stack one number on top of the other number. Rule number one for the stacking algorithm is make sure you line up your place values. If you don't line up your place values, your answer is not going to make sense. Rule number two is you have to always start at the ones place. So I'm going to start at my ones place and I'm going to add my seven ones plus my nine ones. Seven plus nine I know equals 16. But pause. I can't write 16 down here because I can only put one digit in the ones place. So what I'm going to do is 16 is really one group of 10 and then six ones. So I'm going to put my 6 down here to show my 6 ones, and I'm going to bring my extra group of 10 up here to add in with my other 10. Now I have 6 plus 4 equals 10 plus my extra group of 10 to make 11. And it's the same thing here. I can't put 11 down here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 1 group of 10 down here and then my group of 100 up here to add in. Then I have 3 plus 1 equals 4, plus another group of 100 to equal 5. So 600 and 367 plus 149 equals 516. Now, we've done a lot with estimating sums, where we rounded the two add-ins and found our approximate answer, not our exact answer. We can use our estimating sums to help us find the reasonableness to see if our answer is reasonable or not. We learned that the word reasonable meant that it makes sense. For example, 1 plus 1 equals 18 is not a reasonable answer. I'm going to write my question up here one more time and the answer that I got. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to round these two numbers to the nearest 10. 367, if I look at my 7, my 7 tells my 6 that's moved up a floor, so that becomes 370. And my 9 tells my 4 to move up a floor, so that's going to be 150. So now I have 0, 7 plus 5 equals 12, carry the 1. 3 plus 1 equals 4, plus 1 equals 5. So now I'm going to look at my two sums. My estimated sum was 520, where my actual sum is 516. 516 rounds up to 520, so my answer is definitely reasonable.